Hey, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Christmas Eve, and I want to thank you for joining me for Life Lifters, where we come together to get a daily dose of encouragement in around five minutes. And I'm glad that you're joining me today, because this week we've been actually looking at the word behold in the New Testament. It's the Greek word, I do. And that word's an important word because it actually um, says, like, basically stop, listen, pay careful attention. I want to share with you something that's really, really, really important. And uh, many times when that word is used, there's descriptive statements about Jesus, gives us kind of a picture of who Jesus was um, and so that we understand him better. And so, so far this week, on Monday, we talked about the fact that, behold, Jesus the baby, uh, that he's, he's someone who offers us hope. On Tuesday, we said, behold, he's the Lamb of God, that he paid for our sins and, and declared us righteous before God. Uh, yesterday, we said, behold, Jesus the man who is full of love and compassion. And today, I want to talk about, behold, Jesus the intimate friend. I think he's someone that is, wants to be an intimate friend with us, and uh, so often we forget that. But here's what it says in Revelation 3.20, and this is really important because this is Jesus speaking. So Jesus says, Behold. In other words, listen to me. Pay careful attention. I want to share with you something that's very important. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and I come here and I'm knocking. And if you hear my voice and you let me in, I will come in. Now listen, this is a really important verse, and, and the reason I want to share that verse with us today is because so often, for, for me, I used to use that verse a lot about the fact that Jesus wants a relationship with people, and so he'll knock at the door of their heart so that they'll open up their heart to accept him as their Lord and Savior. But, but this is someone who doesn't know Jesus that needs to know Jesus. He's knocking on their heart. But the context of this verse Jesus is actually talking to people who already have a relationship with him. It was the church of Laodicea, and, and that, that church was a, a very wealthy a church, a very wealthy city. Um, there was a city that made eye salves um, that was like, in that day, was like modern medicine for eye problems. Uh, they were a city that made like a black a wool cloth, very expensive black wool cloth, and it was a city known for its famous hot springs. And what was happening here was, the, it was such a wealthy city that the people of the, the, the church people in that town began to put their hope and faith in their wealth and their possessions and everything else, and they were leaving God out of the equation of their lives. They basically opened up the front door, they pushed Jesus out, and they left him outside of their lives, and they were depending on themselves for their own sufficiency and their own resources. And what Jesus does is he, in this passage, he warns them, hey, look, Turn your heart back to me. I'm standing outside of your heart and I'm knocking on the door of your heart because I want to come in and have fellowship with you. And I think the, the call to us this Christmas is this. It's a call to draw near to Jesus, that he wants us to walk in his presence with sincerity and through faith and repentance, allow him back into our hearts and lives. Because I don't know, maybe you're kind of like I am, Sometimes I get so busy in life, there's so much going on, I get distracted and Jesus kind of takes a backseat in my life. And I think what Jesus would like us to do on this Christmas Eve is to invite him back into our lives. He's knocking on the door of our heart. He wants us to open up uh, to him again, invite him to come in so that we can have fellowship with him. So how do we do that practically? I think they're just in closing four practical ways. One is attend church. If you want to experience Jesus, I think one of the great things that we can do is attend church. And so if you're around this evening and, and can do so, I want to invite you to one of our Christmas Eve services. It's at 2 or 4 p.m. So join us for that. I believe you'll experience Jesus there. Uh, read your Bibles another way. I think we can also spend time looking for opportunities to love and serve on other people. And then just even spend time praying. But the whole idea here is this. Jesus is an intimate friend. He wants to be a part of our lives and have fellowship with us. And I want to encourage you, even today, as you get your heart right for this Christmas, in this Christmas season, invite Jesus back into your life and see what he can do because he wants to offer you peace, hope, and joy. So open up your heart to Jesus today because he's your intimate friend.